And good day there, BBPN. Yeah, we're getting back to the more the regular season. They are almost ready to get to the playoffs here. So the fight for the final positions does continue. We're going to take a look in here at the Nurgle division. And let's see what craziness is going to be going this time. Now, fun fact, Nurgle division already is in its final week of week number 16. So this will be a cast. I think we're going to be going back to week 15. At least the uh, second one for that week. And as I hear it, already first place is pretty much wrapped up. It sounds like yeah, the Protonians actually took the bloody thing. Because the Dwarves and the Elves play to a bloody stalemate, of all things. Well, it's what happens when you roll two triple skulls and four double skulls in one game. It's not been a good day for the Dwarves. <laughs> anyway, let's get on to this game, shall we? Uh, there we go, thank you, Sports Gladiator. Guess what? We got ourselves Astro Granite today. Yeah, you got it. It's that special surface, plus one on the armor rails when a player falls on a GFI. So it's called lots and lots of abuse. I guess he hates fucking elves. I'm serious. Mind you, he probably hates every other fucking team while he's out there. So there we go. It is the classic shambling undead team. This is, of course, the Bretonians, and no, this is not the Bretonians that won the division. They have had a hell of a fight getting there. But, yeah, there's been lots and lots of dickery. Lots and lots of dickery in the last few games there. Nuffle is definitely tilting things up there. So, let's take a look here. The Bretonians, as you can see, this team, they were in a bit of trouble, but they have finally recovered. They even have a peon to spare. That's been rather remarkable for this team here. And it is an excellent coach. He has run miracles with this team, and he's done some pretty fine things with this team here. Meanwhile, we'll go and take a look over here at the Shambling on Den. He does have the one spare zombie. How old indeed. And yes, he has a couple of ghouls. And since they don't work for the US Navy, they tend to survive. Of course, maybe not today. You are not prepared. Well, maybe, maybe not. Let's see, where's the ball going? Oh, this could be a bad one. This could be a really bad one. There we go. Hoodly doodly. Well, he gets lucky that it's only a push. Now, as you can see here, these mummies have got some phenomenal. This one finally got the double, so he is absolutely devastating because he does have block. One in nine, he no longer fears. Let's take a look at the shambling on here, dear. They've got no fame, but they do have three rerolls. Bretonians, of course, have got not only the mandatory booze, not soap, booze, and about everything else they need, including some cheering fans. So that is a bit of well done. Well, the Bretonians have definitely decided to exploit this blitz to make life as miserable as possible. They didn't actually get a solid hit in, but that's alright. They figured they can do some damage here. Yeah, hi, hi, hell, but... Is that your nickname now? Alright, never mind. I don't judge. There we go. Solid peon hit. Good boy. <laughs> and yes, he goes off and flying. Well, that's what they do tend to do, doesn't it? Shambling on dead. But they say, I don't think they're too happy about that. You can see it's a good selection of skills. And you can see here, this is what happens when ghouls survive. Yes, I know, it's a bit of a shape there, but... You notice the difference here? They start getting skills. They start getting good at things. Something the US Navy might all look into. More durable ghouls. All right, meanwhile, up here, solid punch. Well, he's going to lie down for a while and reconsider that, you know, maybe dirt isn't such a life lifestyle choice. Yes, he is a yeoman, but he does hang around with the peons there in the front line. Easy peasy. Havling squeezy. He's got the ball, and he's got a good proper cage. Does the one die. Gets away with it. Destroyed. And he even gets the KO out of it. Well done, lad. Well done indeed. That was only a peon. Now, do not get between me and the toilet. Whose team are you worried about that one? Especially on this. Yes, you're all looking at the pitch there. It is genuine Astro Granite, and that was a genuine double skull. Something the Dwarves saw an awful lot over the last game. Uh, moving right along there. Well, he didn't need the reroll, did he? That was quick. 
And moving right along there. Yeah, ding the dong on that peon. Well way. Well done. Now he does have dirty player on the other one here, but he needs someone actually lying down, and well, no one's doing that right now. It's rather unsporting of him. Uh, yeah, you can see here, it is a very different pose for this Bretonian team. Makes the dodge away. And you know what he does? He just tucks himself back up here. He's basically challenging the shambling on dead team. Look, if you want a score, that's the way. And it, good luck getting through. Alright, moving right along there. Yeah, they might just have to start knocking them down. And that is the plan, of course. He does have tackle. And he does have push, of course. Everyone's other favourite skill. It does absolutely nothing. Well, sometimes it does something. That's true. And right now, he's in no area at this point here. It is, uh, yeah, believe it or not, it is turn two thanks to the Blitz here. Things seem a little out of order here. That's because he gave the Bretonians a free turn. On turn zero. Yes, that's how it works. All right, shambling right along he goes. Yeah, that's what they call him, shambling on dead. And now he's tucking things in. This might be a bit tricky here. Yeah, he's kind of got the cage not in the perfect position here. And now here's the fun part. GFI with the mommy. And you notice it's Astro Granite. What could possibly go wrong? Doesn't even risk it. Absolutely does not risk it. Go figure. Well, what brings the rest of his teams up here? And he's got everything parked up as nice and pretty as can be. It has left an opening though, but with a guard in the back end there. It's a bit tricky, isn't it? Well, the Bretonians, not falling for the bite here. Just like so you know, have it, you make me fist. It's a dear old friend of mine. It's the gift that keeps on giving and giving. Isn't that right, Mr. Baldrick? And right now, he's just moving a couple more players into position here. It looks like, yeah, he's going to curl the side and just contain this. Yeah, it's just patient blood ball so far. Extremely patient. Why do the Astro Granite does make it interesting? Do you really want a GFI at plus one against your armor? Not as often as you like, do you? See? Normally, he would have GF died to do the foul. Not on this turf, he's not. It is interesting how that changes your move. All right, here we go. Sort of punch. Does he get him? Well, not yet, not yet anyway. And over here, you know, does the risky dodge, gets away with it. Well done, lad, well done. Is it time to lay the boot in? No. Nope. He's a yeoman. That's peon's work. He knows his role. All right. Sh shambling on dead. What is your plan here? I imagine you do have a plan somewhere. It's turn three. So far, his view is he's got plenty of time here. He has gotten the ball back to the half line. That's pretty all right. He has recovered. He figures nicely from the blitz. He has got one removal on a KO. Could you make it two here? That was not a suggestion, lad. But, you know, all right. I understand. You're not in a rush. And he moves forward one square. Ponderous, isn't it? That's what they call him shambling on dead. All right, but he's still moving up here. Now... This is where he's got to be tempted with the dirty player and at least stick the boot in. But no, not yet. He does get the one die there. Well done, lad. And yes, he does send to one of those nobles nice and flying. Risks the dodge, gets away with it. A lot of risk going on with these teams here. A lot of risk. You can tell the fate of these teams for the playoffs. They are definitely trying to show and flex their playoff muscle. All right, here we go over the top. Fails the GFI, oh dear. Sloppy. But he does make the file up hit and does get him down. And you can see, yeah, he failed the Dauntless, oh dear. Now it's time for the boot. Does he get him? What is the judge on that one say? Oh, come on. Crap. Really? He's just doing his job. You get ejected for that. Oh, well, that shows you how the nature of this game's going. Not only gets absolutely nowhere on a perfect good foul, he gets ejected for his pleasure. Oh well, that's what happens some days. Alright, here we go. Solid hit, peons down, of course he is. And meanwhile, the punishment continues. As you can see, shambling on down here, continuing the advance up the flank here. As I said, now they got the second removal, not the way they planned, but let's face it, they'll take it. That's two men down. 
Oh dear, well the mummies have decided, you know, are you my mummy? No, I'll be your mummy. Yep, grades that reroll of all things there. Does get a hit, but doesn't get a result out of it. And he just keeps moving his team up here slowly and ponderously. Turn four. Well, is the Kanes advancing? Probably. All of two squares. Well, that is shambling undead for you, isn't it? Comes slamming in here. No, only gets the push. That's fine. Keeps them marked up. And he's going to keep things a bit of a terror on the side flank there. Alright, Bretonians. Well, you're down two players. Yes, they're peons, but it's still bodies. Makes it a little harder to throw bodies in front of them, isn't it? Alright, Lad comes running back. And Astro Granite's already proven to be dynamite on decisions here. Dotless makes it. There we go. Oh, good lord, he got him on that one there. Da, da, da. Well, there's a bit of rejoicing there from the Bretonian fans. They are delighted with that result because they will take that removal any day of the week. And suddenly one of the mummies is missing. Well, that's a bit of a trouble, isn't it? Bretonians want to get some airs of competence at this point here. Now, oh, push, mate, push you. And now I believe this is the plan. Put everyone in front. That is the plan. Oh, yeah, he risks a GFI on that one there. Does make the dodge. Gets more players in front. Can you make it three? Yes, you do indeed. Apparently someone greased the pigs earlier today. All right. So what bum right down? One to go, eh? There we go. Solid hit. He's trying to get somewhere here. Push me, push you. Oh, good lord. He did get a good solid hit on that one there. Absolutely delightful. Impressive. And now he's going to try and actually try to turn the corner. Yeah, he's decided since he's got these many players here. You know, he does have the mobility. He can risk it. He definitely can't. He even has the dump out just in case it really goes wrong. It's not a bad idea. It could actually work. Of course, actually work and, you know, really working. Well, we all know this is Blood Bowl. It's a dice game. Two different things, isn't it? All right. Where are you going, Twinkle Toes? Yeah, right in there. Someone's going to get a mouthful of fist, is he? Well, apparently not. It's just a push mate. Push you once again. At least you've got a lot of gold in the front line. Two more dice. Solid hit. Unfortunately, it's just a dodge. They actually helps him on that one there, because now he can get over here much easier. And the Shambling One Dead do what they do best. They shamble a lot. All right, Bretonians, turn five. Well, so much for the Blitz. Fails the Dauntless, but well done, lad. Well done. Right in the gizzard. Uh, phrasing? Well, I don't care about the phrasing, but he will take the stuns as the Bretonians celebrate that easy one. And suddenly, this flank is completely collapsing at this point here. Bretonians can easily break away and make life miserable. And that seems to be the plan here. Good solid hit, and they continue to collapse the flank here. More players moving into position as fast as they can here. This may come down to, you might have to score. I don't think they want to just yet, but you know. Good boy, sweetheart, good boy. Stupid idiot. And he is lovely KO'd. Well, that's turned things around, isn't it? Just goes to show you what a Bretonian team can do there, especially when they get the airs up. Notice, once again, does not risk the GFI unless he absolutely has to. And now this peon does his job. He actually marks the ball carrier. You're a brave lad, probably a dead lad. Well, that's your job, isn't it? All right, shambling on dead. What are you going to do now? This is not going to plan by a long shot, has it? Yep, someone says put some boots to the Brits. All right, that's a good idea. Let's try that then, shall we? All right, here we go. Two dice over the top. There you go, solid punch. Are you happy now? <sighs> the slow death. Unforeseen. Unforgiving. Well, maybe that may be, but so far hasn't worked. Oh, good lord. There he goes. Good boy. Remind yourself that overconfidence is a slow and insidious killer. That could be absolutely true here, because suddenly he's turned it around with a stun and a KO. The removal's absolutely fast and furious, however, notice, he's got, a, he's got a route straight down the middle if he goes for it. 
And yes, absolutely he is doing that. One die right down the middle. Nope. He only gets a push. <laughs> oh well, he's trying. He's absolutely trying. At least he's given him pause. He was hoping because it's a wrestle, he's hoping for the block. Alright, meanwhile on the flank here. Bit more punishment. He's doing a fine job. Shambly on dead. Notice. That didn't go as planned, that turn. It is now turn seven. All right, let's see how he can do with this one here. Oh, well, push me, push you. Well, that's fine. He still has two rerolls. He's in a comfortable position here. Petonians have to use the last reroll. But you don't feel too comfortable about this, do you? Not really. Because there's not really many places you can protect the ball, Kitty, and still be in range. And there's another push me, push you. Alright, how about this? You can see what he's trying to do. He's trying to make some kind of cage to get a little bit closer. How are you feeling, Sunshine? Bit better? Decimated. And you can see what he did there. He actually uses the Apothecary on the KO, of all things. Yeah, you saw that, right? I guess he figured he needs to keep the players on the pitch to stop the drive. Someone's getting ready for playoffs, aren't they? Alright, here we go. Ah, it looks like he's got a pretty comfortable screen up here. Good solid punch. Does he get him? Well, it's only a knockdown, but that will do the job. And guess what? He double stacks it beautifully. Now he's going for the triple stack here. Can he get one dodge away? It's all he needs. And no. More dust. More ashes. More disappointment. Yeah, that is basically you know, the undead playing... Absolute confusion, and it seems to be working on the Batillions pretty nicely. Because that's not exactly what they expected to happen there. Oh, you, you realise he took the spot you need to move in, right? You, you do realise that? No? Maybe? Maybe not? Alright, he does have a cunning plan. It's so cunning that it might even work. How about that? That absolutely works. Kill him, do it! Shoot him! Yeah, oh well, so much for that idea. Now he goes. And now here it comes. This is the great die through. Makes the dodge reroll. Here he goes. And he. Your creatures are becoming angry. Let's try this again. Oh god, no, no! What's done is done. It's done alright. That was turn 8. You saw that here, folks. Once again, double one. He's taking the shorter route. Oh, well, that was your choice. Well, maybe, maybe not. You saw how that all worked out. Not his day, is it? Just wasn't his day. Double one, not much you could do about that, eh? All right. Bretonians, they have pulled off the minacle so far there. And unfortunately, they're not quite getting the hits they want at this point here. But now they've got a free turn to, quite frankly, as you can see, they don't need the bolts. Turn 8, they can't do anything with it. But they can certainly do a good solid fisting if they can actually learn to hit something. Which they haven't quite figured out yet, but they're working on that. And there is your halftime score here. It's actually nil-nil. This halftime, of course, is brought to you by Yorex Tailoring. Yes, you might not be able to cut you up in the field, but you can certainly trim you a good suit anytime, anywhere. Yorex Tailoring. Well, that wasn't exactly planned here. Look, do you guys need motivation? Here, yeah. free date with a sister if whoever wins this one, okay? Okay. All right, let's see if this motivates the blasters. All right. Well, let's turn this around here. Now, as you can see here, the Bretonians did take a bit of a pummel in getting there. That one injury, like, fortunately, it's nothing really serious. You know, it's just badly hurt. But he does have still the two peons. What? Where'd all the dirt go, bastards? Oh, well. Meanwhile, over here, as you can see, he's only just out the block zombie, so I don't think he's too overly concerned here. He still has a full 11-player roster. As for Bretonians, as noted, they had the one spare. Had, key term, you know, has noticed over there. So the Britannians are down several players. Now, they can still score. In fact, the Britannians seem to specialise in that. So let's see if they can actually do something wonderful here. And once they actually figure out, you know, where they're actually going to be moving. All right. 
Are we ready now? All right, here's the kick. And everyone loses a turn. Absolutely. Great. Well, the Vipitonians want any more pressure. There it is. Let's shorten the game somewhat. It's only seven turns to go. Oh, he got that one. He absolutely did. And that makes him very, very pleased indeed. A bit of celebration on that one there. Because at least it's a removal. You have even the numbers up. He got better. Can you make it too wide? Let's see if he does it. Good lord. And well... I guess that wasn't a suggestion either. He has made that two removals. Well, so much for your playing advantages. He's just removed two players and just two hits. Yeah, it's too much to hold for three, was it? Oh, well, there you go then. And suddenly the Bretonians are right smack. Really? You're going to throw him in there? Oh, well, it's his funeral, maybe. Maybe the mighty noble will save him. You really don't believe that, do you? Oh, well. He's got one job, one job only. Mark the mummy. Alright, well done, lad. You got the ball. So he's good when that actually works. He's going to wait a while, and then he's going to trust that at least one of the catches... I said one of, not the... Crap, this is going to go bad, isn't it? Oh, well, this makes things simple for the undead. It's a shambling undead, then. Doesn't it? They just got to focus on taking out one. And they can just basically contain the rest of the team. Yeah. Time to open up the tin can that is those Bretonians. Well, let's see if you can open up some can here. See, if you're just going to send one, this is what happens, lad. This is about to be a world of pain. Lots and lots of pain. Well, that's a bit risky here. No, he actually decides to go after this one there. It's not a bad idea. He's trying to put some pressure into the ball carrier. No, it's not bad at all. Remember, Astro Granite. It means GFIs if you fail, plus one the armor. Oh, look, he's just got another mummy down. There we go. That makes life a hell of a lot easier, doesn't it? Yeah, expendable. Magic words in this team. And meanwhile, another blow here. Does he get her another removal? No, I think they're spent at this point. No, seriously, I think they did everything else. All right, here he comes with the football here. You know, you don't have nerves to steal, you're not a pro elf team. Mind you, the pro elves would like to have their ones back. Thank you very much. Now you see what he's coming up with here. Bretonians getting a bit cocky. And yes, they are moving several. Oh, that was a dangerous dodge. Gets away with it, though, on the dodge reroll. And now he's made it. And this is clever. He's made this a fallout scrum with Elder Receivers way down the pitch here. Now the Shambling on Den have a bit of a problem. Because at least two of these can definitely go and grab your balls. Yes, I know. Phrasing. Well, how about you, Sunshine? How are you feeling? And get off my lawn! Well, he's trying to, but he's only stunned. But at least that does save some troubles here. Alright, how's the peeled feeling? Nope, still alive. Apparently that last layer of dirt did a great job on him. And now he's going to try and contain the little bit of a mess that's going on down here. Good solid hit. You want to make it too? Yes, he does. And indeed, he does get a successful nice little punch. And everything's going on Kidori here. Now, this one's a bit of a risk here, but he does get away with it. Well done, lad. And he even marks the other one up. All right, not a good turn for the Petonians here. Not so much for your heady up and score play. Now it's your heady up and try and stay alive play. One die. Really? Bit of a risk. He gets the push. Now you can see where he's going to go. It is all potato. Well, a bit of a scream there, but now he's got the ultra receiver. And he does both GFIs. I'm impressed. Here it comes. This is the throw. And... Ooh, you suck. Yeah, he's gone down, all right. 
doesn't break himself, but lo and behold, the ball is squirted free. It's not the only thing that's squirting right now. Phrasing, I know. Shambling on dead. Well, this is your football again, but you might want to save your ghoul. Keywords, maybe. And meanwhile, there's a surf target if I've ever seen one. Alright, he's definitely put priority. Save the ghoul, go get the football. Alright, that works. Gets a good solid hit. Well done, lad. Wait, why that way? Alright. Not like that's going to come back to haunt you, right? Right. Well, solid push on the peon. Oh, look, we'll go send the zombie to go guard the football. He's got a brain, doesn't he? It's not his. He's got someone's. Ah, now we mark this up. You do need to pick up the football, lad. Well, apparently this is his plan. He'll get the football, all right. What could possibly go wrong? It's AG4. And you thought I was going to jinx it. Shenanigans! 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 It, just because I mention it doesn't mean I jinx it, lads, all right? If you've watched enough... All right, someone's coming back here. He's going to go get the ball. Oh, he said he's going to go get the ball. Ooh, you suck. You know, suddenly this is becoming quite the slippery field, isn't it? That is a lot of slipping. All right, he did get the ball. Well done. Nice hit. Message for you, sir. All right, he will celebrate that one there. That has done its job. Absolutely. It's gotten the ball at least back into play. However, that's a horrible bounce, isn't it? It's just no one's going to get that one easy. And the fight continues. All right, here we go. Solid hit. Shambling on dead. Turn 13. Push me, push you here. Is anyone going to get this testicle lying in the middle of the field here? More push me, push you. There's a theme here. Stop trying to hit him and just hit him. Yes, I can hear that in the chat already. There we go. Solid hit. Where's the ball going today, sweetheart? No, nah, it doesn't work. And that doesn't help anyone either. Oh, well, he takes the risk there. One die, gets the peon. And get off my lawn! Well, he's off the lawn, all right. He's going to be off the reservation if he has a say in the matter. Two dice. And again, you push him into a more opportunistic position. All right, that's fair. Charging up here. He is now trying to get a ball handler in position here. Good solid hit there. Yes, sweat, sweat and beers. All this blood. Yeah, free try to pick it up. Would someone like to pick the ball up now? See, there you go. Someone's got it. I'm surrounded by idiots. You feel that way some days, don't you? That's just the peons. All right, here we go. Bretonians, mad scramble to try and get the ball. Yep, smart move comes in with the wrestle. He got him. <laughs> go get it! Stop standing there, just go get it! <sighs> Alright, well he fails the Dauntless here, it doesn't matter though, he does get the push. He's got everyone else marked up, here we go, Dauntless again. Well that's not gonna work, stand firm! Stand firm is another word for fuck you, alright. Well, this has become a bit of a mess. Like I said, maybe if you'd gone and actually picked up the ball earlier, you wouldn't be in this mess. Yes, I know. You said, oh, I was getting away. No, you weren't. It's got wrestle. Well, there's a bit of punishment anyway. And three dice there. How are you feeling? Huh? He's feeling just fine. He's a dodgy McDodgerson. But it does knock him further away. Mind you, it's also close to the end zone. See, there's your eligible receiver. Once we get dealt with this little mess over there, don't we? A trifling victory. But a victory nonetheless. And he's looking for everything, oh dear. No, 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 Mistake. no. Mistake! Now that doesn't work. Oh good lord. You know, I don't think anyone's got any average luck this game here. Well, it's a little bit of column A, a little bit of column B. All right, Bretonians, they would like to go get the football here. All right, yes, good move. Get them away from the football. But now what are you going to do? 
makes the dodge. He picks us up. Well bloody done. That's easy. And now let's see if he actually. Oh come on! Yay for murder! Well, maybe, maybe not. Let's try that again. Oh god, he can't even make basic dodge rolls here. Well, that's all three rerolls gone. That was quick. All right, Istilad does. And he's going to try this again. Mind you, you're out of turns. So you're going to have to wait a turn on that idea. It's a great idea. I highly endorse it. Unfortunately, there's a couple of people who'd like to have a word with you about that idea. <laughs> it's called a fist. Poof, lucky there. It makes the second dodge. And yet, yeah, that's a smart move. And that's not a smart move. Today's going to suck! It truly does suck, it really does! We must overreact immediately! Uh, what were you thinking? Were you thinking you'd just confuse him? You know, break out the thriller in front of him, he wouldn't know how to pass the ball. Guess what, lad? <laughs> it's gone completely wrong, absolutely wrong. Well, this is it. Makes the dodge. Alright, that's all he needed to do. Easy, completely easy dodge. Now it's the easy handoff. Oh god. Panda! Fucking Shut up! You know he's got catch, right? It means he double failed. Yeah, he did. Take a look there, lads. And now you go and eat this one. Great is the weapon that cuts on its own. Well, that's gonna be one hell of a match to report today, isn't it? Alright. Shambling on dead. Get lucky on a double fail catching the ball. Oh well, power of double ones, isn't it? Alright, what else have we got here? Solid hit. Solid hit punch, how are you feeling, sunshine? Well, now let's throw a couple more. Okay, how is this peon still alive? Apparently the filth is quite the layer on him. Alright, over here. Well, he's got nothing better to do with the reroll. He might as well. See, that's crazy, isn't it? And he took that one there. Mortality clarified in a single strike. Well, almost clarified. Now, is he going to go for the cheeky foul? You bet he is. You bet he is. All right. Now, remember, cleats on. Here we go. A death by inches. Oh, it is all right. It is. Dirty player did his job. Unfortunately, Cosmo had some wee weird with him about that one there. Get off me, bitch. Just... The game's over. All right, lad, the game's over. And there is, lads, your score. Nil, nil. That's quite the clinic put on by the Bretonians, but then when things go wrong, it really goes wrong. As for the death call extinguishers, you just can't buy a fucking touchdown, could you there? Christ, yeah, it was an easy handoff. Absolutely. All he needed was a three. Once. Didn't happen. Anyway, that is the broadcast for today. Absolutely, thank you for being here. We'll be back tomorrow here for the same BBPN time there. And Nuffle, bless your dice.